In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a search ad with your Amazon Associates affiliate account so that you can add products to a blog post. So for example, here I have a real estate website and this is the St. Joseph statue um, prayer. And if I scroll down, what you're going to be able to see here is that I have a list of St. Joseph statue prayers for sale from Amazon. So let me show you how we make these. I'm going to go ahead and edit that post. We're going to go over to Amazon. I'm going to click search ads and we are going to create a search ad. Now search ads are formulated by a particular keyword. We're going to get into making custom ads in another video. So all I have to do here, you'll see that my tracking number is already set up because I'm logged in. Now I can create a grid and that is what we saw over here with the eight statues in two columns, uh, four to a row or two rows, four columns. We can create a list, and that will be here where they're just words on the page, and we can create a strip. Now, my I'm finding that my strips are doing well, um, and it, it's, it has a lot to do with mobile. So they're going to be able to use a slider and slide through these items rather than a grid where they're going to be stacking, and they're going to have to scroll through a lot of items on the blog. So I'm, in, I'm liking the strip. Now I'm going to find the St. Joseph prayer, let's just say. Okay, or I can say, you know, I want more of the statues and I could change it there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as a prayer because I already have the statue one in there. And now edit title, shop. St. Joseph statue and prayer items. Okay, so click here for mobile preview. So you see how that shows up there? And then they can scroll through. All right, I'm going to hit close and then I'm going to grab this code. I'm going to go back over to my blog. Whoops, wrong blog. And I'm going to decide where I want to put it. All right, so maybe I want to put it right here, right underneath that video. So all I have to do, I give myself a little cheat. If you're using Gutenberg, you can actually do this with a content block and it's super, super easy. But if not, let's say I want to enter the code, I'm going to put insert Amazon. Now I'm going to go over here to text. And I'm going to find where I have insert Amazon. I'm going to hover over that. And I'm just going to paste in that code. I'm going to refresh my date. I'll click update and then I'll show you what it looks like on the front end. So you can do this on any platform as long as you have the ability to add the HTML or you have a content block that allows you to add a little bit of HTML code. Okay, so here we go. There it is. I really like how that looks. I like that strip. So in another video, I will show you how to, to add in the search ads in list form. So this is how we add it in in a strip. I'm Lori Ballant. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel where you're going to get more information about ranking on the search engines, making money online, building your affiliate business and more.